A Philadelphia Correctional Center has come under close scrutiny after two inmates managed to escape the facility back in May and it was all caught on surveillance. The newly released video shows the actual moment the two inmates walked out of their cells at the Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Center and crawled through open parts of the prison to avoid detection. Action News reporter Andy McCormick has more on the security lapses and employee errors revealed in a follow up report. District Attorney Larry Krasner said today that he's not able to release all of the details because of an ongoing investigation, but during a city council hearing today, he released pictures and video showing the dangerous men escaping. It will start with these two inmates who will be on the right side of your screen pushing their doors open. New insight into the May prison escape from the Philadelphia Industrial Correctional Center by Amin Hurst and Nasir Grant. The two jimmied their cell doors to keep them unlocked. Hurst was awaiting trial for four murders and Grant was jailed on gun and drug charges. The escape occurs when the relief finally shows up. That relief goes to sleep. District Attorney Larry Krasner shared the details during this morning's hearing held by City Council's Committee on Public Safety. In addition to the sleeping guard, external motion detectors were not operating and head counts were not completed. This cut fence the prisoners crawled through and staff knew about it days before. City Council member Sharon Vaughn introduced a resolution over the matter. It's very important that um, they get the proper funding, that the equipment is updated, that the facilities are maintained. Our camera infrastructure is over 25 plus years old. Um, it doesn't give us the, 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 the real-time capability to pull video. Prisons Commissioner Blanche Carney stated they need more funding and leadership changes have been made. The union president that represents correctional officers has long been outspoken about his members' increasingly difficult conditions and their no-confidence vote of Carney. A federal judge already ordered an oversight monitor last year following a class action lawsuit. Additionally, Carney asked for the State Department of Corrections to conduct a safety assessment following the recent escape. Reporting in Center City, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News.